everyone welcome to the channel again today we will have a tutorial about Siemens Sire portal with OPC server using Keep server and Netto purchasing and then we're gonna link it with our Excel uh, so we saw before in the, the other episode about how to connect the uh, system to, to Keep server so today I'm gonna redo it again but uh, very fast if you want the full tutorial check the other video so this is the project I used before in the other video it's very simple I'm gonna open it now to check it I actually want to add some other tags so let's see our uh, program it's very simple so this is the program I use it's very simple like here we have this m0.0 that activate the m0.1 we saw that before and some simple math function I'm gonna actually add uh, another tag to use personally let's add like let's name it type 6 it will be uh, memory world 16 ok don't save the project as an OPC2 so this is ok my program is ok now I'm gonna uh, upload it to my PLC sim as I said always open the PLC sim as an administration mode gonna add like my memory byte oh sorry memory word okay it's here and I'm gonna load my program You should always upload your program before uh, you launch the server. Okay, program is loaded. Let's check. Yes, it works. Okay. Okay, everything is okay. So here we're gonna launch our. Uh, PLC, uh, sorry, to our net to PLC sim. I left the link and I talked about it uh, in the tutorial before. Launch as administrator too. Okay, we start our server. Now let's go to the Keep server. All these things we did before is very simple. I'm gonna create a new project. So this is the new project. I'm gonna add like channel for the Siemens. We use Siemens TCP EP internet ok channel 1 we use the network address Now I'm gonna add like my tags All these things I did them before
so here are all my tags it's very simple just for an example this is the tags I use in the tire portal to load in my PLC sim and this is their address I'm gonna check if everything is okay so a quick client channel 1 device 1 it seems okay you check always the quality if it's good or bad if something's wrong in the connection you're gonna get the quality as bad you can check it if you want device one as I'm gonna change the like you see it's unknown it's quality bad just because it doesn't uh, have the right address quality is very is a very important thing in, in here so here as I said like in here something I can okay everything is okay now we're gonna connect to our Excel just to connect to Excel we're gonna add a new channel it's a new channel and we use like uh, DDE client let's name it channel 2 ok ok let's add channel 2 let's add a device name it device 1 no problem you can choose whatever name you want DDE client So as a project in the properties, don't forget in the properties of the project to activate DDE. Here we change it to yes. Keep DDE enabled. Okay, it's okay. And also here you must change something. Let me show you. In the settings you should change like the runtime process in the mode select mode you should have interactive mode that's all the thing you must change okay and let's go to Excel Excel. Now I'm gonna add like uh, some few tags here. I'm gonna name it like the uh, data one as a name, and the address it should always like be the application DD client which is Excel. And then this board. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna write it here. This board is with graphic alt and uh, six for uh, Azure T keyboard I don't know for QWERTY ones so here and you write sheet one you choose which sheet you're gonna use if you use another like uh, versions like French or something for French it's free you write this thing you have here it's sheet she and then like this symbol and you add like which row and which column like you name it row 1 and column 1 if you use like the French version the row actually it's a uh, line lean uh, you write L uh, L here but for English version you write like R R1 C1 okay uh, now let's check if the connection is good always use the quick client uh, channel it's good value zero I don't know if uh, sorry
it's bad actually I don't uh, yes it's good now okay it's connected very good I uh, I named my variable data one and I thought it's a system uh, variable or something so here we have value zero and here we can change it if you want like uh, 400 let's see here in our quick client yes it's 400 sorry I have two quick clients let's recheck again uh, device one and channel to device one let's switch for connection its value is 400 and we can change the data type if you want from here properties is a D word you can change it if you want to a word or something let's use word okay and it can communicate with the you can add like other uh, tags if you want let's name it like data2 and this name like same thing for the other one excel sheet one it's named like the row two color one it's named color two okay Okay, it's working good. Now we want like to link uh, the data between the PLC sim and the data between uh, sorry between PLC sim and Excel. I'm gonna add like uh, an advanced tags here. I'm gonna add a new tag. So the tag type here you choose a link. Uh, sorry, link, and you name it like this. Name it like link one and you choose its input like let's take the input from the device one which is our uh, PLC let's choose file four okay and the output we choose a tag in the other device which is uh, the Excel let's choose data one apply and we're gonna validate this okay now they are linked as you see here we have like uh, 70 which is the one we wrote here it's injected here you can change it see it's connected both are connected let's connect another one let's connect like the memory byte with here and I'm not sure about the type actually input from the PLC mm, this one or this one Okay, output in Excel. Apply. Oh, uh, sorry, name like link, link two. Okay, we have a zero here. If I activate it, I don't know. Yes, it changed like from a byte to a word. Let's see if I can change this. So we should use Boolean actually. My bad. Okay, now it's zero and one. 
so this is it for like the excel connection with the plc sim and with a keep server i hope you like the video if you have question you can ask it in the comment or send me a message if you need like uh, other tutorials you can check the playlist the link below and don't leave don't forget to leave a like and subscribe thank you for watching and stay tuned